Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to rip a music CD using Windows Media Player. So what ripping really means is you're going to take the music files off the CD and convert them to MP3s or WAV files or some other type of file that you could keep on your computer and then you can you know, add it to your MP3 player or iPod or something like that. Okay, so once you get the music CD loaded in, it should automatically start to play or it should if not, then you could just open Windows Media Player. Should be easiest way is probably just look for well, type it right. Just type in Windows Media Player and click it from there, or you might have it on your start menu somewhere. So or on your desktop. So pretty much just find that if it doesn't open it up in Windows Media Player first. And so before you rip the CD, you could change the settings, or actually you should check the settings anyways, just to make sure. Um, it's the format you want, the quality you want, so on. So to do that, there's this RIP settings here, and there's kind of a quick menu here where you can kind of change stuff, or if you just want to go to more options, you can get all the same things plus some extra stuff. So here is where the music will be ripped. I have a folder in my D drive called RIP Music, and for file name, this is what details you want to put in the file name. So I'm going to add artist to it, then I'll also do the track number and the song title and how you want the each of those informations separated, a space, a dash, underline, so on. We'll just do a space. Click OK. And here's your format. Um, most cases you're going to want MP3, unless you want something else. FLAC and so on is a higher quality uh, file, but you know you might have problems listening to it on other programs and that kind of thing. So we'll stick with MP3. And then we don't want it to rip automatically every time we put a CD in. We don't care if it ejects afterwards or not. And so for us, we're going to go all the way to the best quality, 320K. And then we will apply. And click OK. And then all you have to do is click on RIP CD. And this process will take a little bit of time. Um, and it'll, it'll show you the list here. So we're doing 12 tracks, and it's 10% of the first one there. So this is going to take a little while. So you might as well you know, go have a cup of coffee or something else while you're waiting. So we'll pause the video and then we'll come back when it's all done. Okay, so now we're done ripping everything here. And so all we're going to do now is go to that folder where we ripped it to, and that was on the D drive and uh, rip music. And there it is. Failure, the album name, and then the tracks. So we got the artist name, the track number, and the song title, just like we picked. And you can see if we right click, go to properties on one of them here, details. It's got all the information there, and you can see it's 320K, just like we picked. And you could change this tag information if you want to. We actually have a video on how to edit all this stuff, which I'll stick in the uh, bottom here as a link, so you can check that one out too. And that's how you do it. And thanks for watching.